this out. Make sure we're coming in live. And there we are. Awesome, awesome. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome to another live stream. Today, today is February 2nd, 2021. And we're doing a comic book reading of Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, number 70 from 1966. And it's the first Silver Age appearance of Catwoman. Cool, cool, cool. And we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this as people start coming in, as notifications go out. Uh, there's three main stories in this, actually. And this is uh, number five of uh, uh, five comic books. I think we introduced a couple of random ones as, as well during the comic book uh, hauls and stuff. But this is the fifth one that uh, we had to read. Elder God, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I hope you're doing well, brother. <laughs> what a chaotic world. It's great doing uh, doing these comic book uh, streams. By the way, uh, I'll let you know, uh, and I'll let people know later on, uh, most likely a comic book haul tomorrow. Okay, I got a package waiting at the post office for me to pick up. So it's it, 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 this package has taken about over a month to get here. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of comic books, uh, a few comic books. It's, it's a couple of runs. Uh, more than a couple of runs actually uh, so uh, I'll let you guys know what it is I'll let you know what it is and uh, it should be fun <coughs> Kung Fu Master brother uh, it supposedly supposedly those books on our they're on their way to me so the package that I got and everyone's coming in. Did you ever get those? Uh, that's what I'm telling the story about. You know what? I'll wait up five minutes to just to let people know what's going on regarding those 13 comics. How's everyone doing? Uncle Barry, uh, the gravity of the situation. Indeed. Welcome, welcome. The real MC Mike. Hello, hello. How are you doing? You've been pretty active on our uh, Discord page, uh, which is cool. And I got your message uh, that you sent me. Olive, how's life? Hope you're doing well. And MC Mike, I just got your... Uh, PM on uh, Twitch that you sent me. I don't usually check the uh, the um, the messages on Twitch because uh, it's really it's not set up well to reply to people. You can't really it's small. You can't really re so Discord is the best way to get in touch with you. But I did reply to you. Um, gravity of the situation. Uh, free Assange. Free Assange. Free Assange. Indeed. All notifications sent. Awesome. Awesome. Boho bridges 81 hey chicho and everyone hope you are well you indeed you indeed i hope everyone's doing well it's an interesting interesting times for sure for sure and gang julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency of capital transparency and accountability of capital is power to humanity right that's who julian assange is cheryl how are you doing no poll today cheryl you're free <laughs> awesome we got one choice and that's it right this is what we're gonna lead, read it's crazy that it's the first silver age appearance of catwoman really that means this came out in 1966 so uh silver age began in 1956 so in 10 years there was no appearance of catwoman in dc comics which is wow to me Right, Ding Bobber, hey Chicho, what did you think of those uh, flashing red text gifs? <laughs> I shared about it. I thought it were funny. <laughs> it was like, goo, 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 goo. it was interesting. It was a different take, that's for sure. And why not? I put a little smiley face on there. Olive, not doing great these days, but I'm hoping this will trim it. Oh, Olive, I'm sorry to hear that. And Olive, look, you're not alone. Look, gang, anybody feeling down, you're not alone. The the pressure put on our civilization, our he human beings by centralized power has been insane, right? So don't think, like one of the reasons people aren't able to deal with pressure or pressure really brings you down and you feel overwhelmed is because you feel you're alone in this. You feel you're isolated. That's why whenever you go through trauma, the one of the best things you can do to heal yourself is to talk to others, to share right so no matter you know how low you feel how down you feel just know this there are billions of people right now right that are going through the same thing you are you're not alone 
Always keep that in mind. Always keep that in mind. Okay. Lonely Piggy. Hey, Chicho. Hope you're doing well. GameStop seems to be on a slight in incline again. It's super interesting to me. Yeah, it's super interesting. And be careful. Look, gang, it's not... There are retail investors that made a lot of money off uh, the short squeeze. But there are a lot of hedge funds that also made a lot of money, uh, you know, screwing over the other hedge funds right so big money is playing it as well cheryl's like no pull right on crack how are you doing sniff sniff is that comic so small and it is indeed the traitors will suffer elder gossip sorry politics always the patriot always a patriot graham snd <laughs> for for levy graham you've been trading man man <laughs> it's it's a good experiment as long as you're not you know risking a lot of money uh, it's a good way to learn how the system works, right? So uh, kudos for you for trying and putting some money on the table and not worrying about losing it, right? Huckleberry, just got some bad uh, medical news. So I'm in desperate need of a cheat Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Huckleberry. And gang, okay, I'm going to let you guys know what's going on. I got a package waiting for me uh, regarding comic books. I got a package waiting for me to pick up a uh, comic book haul that's basically taken about a month to come here and i know i said i wouldn't gonna go through ebay shipping program ever again but i went through ebay shipping program again i cut a deal with the person selling the books so most likely tomorrow at around 2 p.m we're gonna do a comic book haul okay most likely around 2 p.m i gotta see if i can fit it in there with my time right if not tomorrow then thursday for sure but i think tomorrow at 2 p.m we're gonna do it and regarding those 13 books that never made it back to me i contacted the seller and um, initially he didn't reply to me and then filed a case and then he replied to me because all the funds were put on hold that's what i got from him right and then he contacted supposedly what happened is someone else's books uh i ended up getting someone else's books and someone else ended up getting my books so he contacted the other seller and the other seller has already sent those books my way and these books the gideon's false trace paperbacks i've put into boxes uh, onto a box and i'm going to ship that out to the other guy today okay so maybe in a week uh we'll get those 13 bucks and when we do we're gonna do a comic book haul and open them up and finger crossed those are the books that we wanted and it's got the first appearance of Kung Fu Fighter, first Todd McFarlane cover, first Lady Cop, first appearance of uh, Suicide Squad, the revamp of Suicide Squad, uh, first appearance of Huntstress. It's 13 key books. Oh, let's say nine key books, nine out of 13, 10 out of 13, right? Name Baba Chicho, heroic dose last night had me in a crazy place, a good one. I didn't want to leave until it was over then i found myself relieved it was over yeah that relief gives you a lot of information crack very well said chicho you're not alone you are not alone <coughs> graham it's not a lot of money just want to know how the game is played I exactly right like a lot of people have asked me over the years you know i want to learn how to play poker how do i play poker i go you know what go find the smallest game you can find right 25 cent game 10 cent game and play poker the best way to learn how to play poker is to play poker learn some of the rules but you'll never learn how to play poker unless you play poker forget about the you know the rules are quite simple you know the prettiest hand wins that's what it is really right so learn how to play by playing learn how to do by doing right gravity of situation i just picked up adventures of indiana jones number one for a dollar nice first comic in a while and i forgot how much i love the smell of old comics yeah indeed newsprint is the best lonely piggy any news on the potential scammery situation you went through with com yeah that's that was the news lonely piggy there we go never mind awesome sweet comic haul yeah kung fu fighter elder god says exponential uh experimental learning is the name of the game name of the game is that what we refer to it experimental learning uh, learning by doing my hair is so long now <laughs> it's getting in my face while i do push-ups gang should we start with a comic book called life experience 
life experience experiential experiential learning life experience right and exercises when it comes to math anyway we're about 10 minutes in should we wait a couple more minutes for people to roll in so they catch the beginning of the read or uh, yeah there's people still rolling in slowly <coughs> my vote is for Lois Lane <laughs> I was thinking seriously I was thinking of bringing another comic book and having that up uh, as a possible read as well but no we got to get this done and then after we do this reading right I second the Joy Seller God slick mix those Lois after we finish this one we're gonna I'm gonna grab five more comic books uh, from my collection at least three of them are going to be um some of the comic books we said we we're going to read from reading set number four we're still going through those <laughs> hopefully i can find them some of those are buried now it's like oh no but i'm going to grab one of those or uh, at least three of those and then two from comic book hauls we've had from the last uh, couple of months maybe it'll be from uh one two of the 13 that we picked up like if they actually get here the 13 that never made it here if they actually get here i think we're going to read at least two of them really the, those would be <laughs> like wow they actually made it <coughs> slick make the second choice do it i have accumulated three thousand points mods do you know when chicho is going to do a comic book auction giveaway where we use the point i'm not 100 sure when i'm going to do it yet slick make i gotta build up a little bit of funds last one <laughs> it, was, it was it was anyway i have to build up my funds a little bit just to put like i think it ended up costing like 300 bucks or something to ship everything out so uh i have to put that aside to make sure i can cover the shipping for everything right cheryl after the first vote for this set i knew i could just be patient but if uh something would have knocked lois lane i would have been <laughs> pleasant yeah yeah we need to read this i really i'm surprised we didn't get to this earlier like this is literally an extremely key book right very key book yo how's it going chicho starsky how are you doing chicho i just found a flying ant in my basement i live in canada it's freezing outside uh oh uh if it's really big ding bother is it really big if it's really big it could be a carpenter ant if it's a carpenter ant find the nest nest and get rid of that nest because they eat the home they eat wood okay you don't want carpenter ants inside the house or even outside the house right on on the on the house having a nest crack i read a graphic novel last night called my favorite thing is monsters highly recommend it it's her first graphic novel and it's so impressive really back to 100,000 k elder god <laughs> it's not a termite is it oh it might be a termite too cheryl Sh termites are more oranges i believe right i took a video i don't think so it was pretty small it was small okay it's small it could be termite then emily ferris is the creator name emil ferris i don't know that name ants are crazy they just spontaneously grow wings they are gr uh, grown for a temporary purpose nature is crazy nature is crazy sure i will send the discord okay then bobber gang let's do a comic book reading oh the sun's coming up uh oh in my eyes what's the sun doing it's supposed to be overcast can i do the reading should i block out the sun no we can do it i'll manage gang i'm going to turn off notifications i'm going to turn off wow bright bright <coughs> hmm. wow that is bright my eyes roll let's check it out if i hold it like this oh i can go behind the pot there okay we do if i have problems with it oh should i go get sunglasses how is that gonna look it's just a little hole in the clouds of an overcast sky where the sun is shining on us let's see let me do a little adjustment i can go behind here okay we'll be good we'll be good 
And gang, don't forget, we can wait a second, yeah, Graham? And don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange playlist where we've got a lot of information. Regeneration Justin, Chicho, hey, my first live stream, great to talk to you last night, and that's super kind of you in regards of the GF uh, girlfriend novels, GF novels. <coughs> oh, Justin, how you doing? Regeneration, I was thinking of, oh, for sure. And we'll let people know uh, what we talked about uh, when the time comes. Okay, we'll let people know. Cheryl, I'll definitely look into my uh, favorite things and is favorite things is monsters. Thanks for the rack. Yeah, and by the way, gang, uh, there's amazing comic books out there. A lot of independent comic books out there that they put their heart and soul into the comic books. Uh, seek them out. I know we read a fair bit of uh, Marvel and DC, but we also dabble in a lot of independence. Uh, and independence are some of the key books and historical and stuff like this seek out alternative comics as well right gang i'm turning off <coughs> chat no oh, hold on i should do intro gang i'm just going to go through patreon twitch mines gab vk hello parlor when it comes back online uh twitter audios when we don't have any visuals to soundcloud and this video will be loaded on sensor 2 bit shoot and rumble and if we have enough points to odyssey and for all of you that are supporting this work on all those platforms thank you very much for the support boink off they go comic book time comic book time comic book time comic book time <laughs> okay now i'm going to turn off chat and i'm going to turn off this camera right here and we're going to get into the reading <coughs> Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading. And today we're going to read uh, a pretty key book actually. We're going to read Superman's girlfriend Lois Lane number 70 from 1966 okay I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out of Mylar so it doesn't have the glare on it and take a look at the comic uh, from 1966 and it's the first Silver Age appearance of Catwoman okay and I bought this book uh, we I believe we did a comic book haul on it like I probably bought this book around six years ago or so and we've been doing comic book hauls for a long time, uh, for a while now. And uh, I believe the lot I bought it on was the first, second, and third appearance of Catwoman, uh, Silver Age appearance of Catwoman. So um, it was a great buy. I forget how much I bought it for, uh, but it was less than 100. Uh, and this thing, this comic alone right now would go for more than 100. Uh, but let's crack it open. I forget what grade it is in, uh, that I bought it in. Um, it's in pretty good shape if I recall correctly it would have been mid-grade but uh, I should have written down the info on the back of this but I didn't okay mid to lower grade and most of the story in this is written by well actually all the slow stories in this are written by Leo Dorfman and Leo Dorfman did a lot of work with Superman and uh, Jimmy Olsen and obviously Lois Lane. So he was really active with the Superman books. Okay. And the artwork for this is done by Kurt Schoffenberger. And the cover, this cover is done by um, Kurt Schoffenberger. And there's some artwork with uh, Carmen Infantino, Bob Colson, Henry Bott, Linoff, and uh, Irv uh, Novick in this as well. They're like one pagers or half a pagers and stuff. But this is in pretty good shape. 
right? The sun's coming out, so the camera's like can't, you know, having a hard time focusing on the overcast areas or the sun coming out areas. Let's see. So right now is a great goes for this. I'd probably give this at least, well, we'll flip it, but at least a five or so. Maybe four and a half, right? Maybe five and a half, anywhere between four and a half to five and a half for this. There's no chunks missing, right? Special guest villain, the penguin. Look at that. Super Pussycat, formerly Superman, Habitat Kryptonite Cage, haha. <laughs> so this is supposed to be Superman. I believe what the story is, is uh, uh, Catwoman, Catwoman turns Superman into a cat. So pretty good condition. Let's check out the back. So there's no chunks missing in this build these great new four aurora hobby kits four aurora hobby kits four great new aurora hobby kits build these what are these captain kid look at this i've never seen this before captain kid the frog forgotten prisoner of Castle Mayor, that's that guy. And the Green Beret. Cool. Aurora Plastic Corpse. Corp, West Hampster, New York. Models can be painted as shown. Let's check this out. Models can be painted as shown. Kits do not include paint or cement. Wow. Yeah, models. Yeah, it looks like it. For 98 cents. 98 cents each. Wherever toy hobby products are sold. Cool. I would rather buy a whole bunch of comic books from that period. They were very cool. Really. I never. I don't think we've ever seen one of the ads for them. I haven't anyway. Not that I recall. What does this say? It's catastrophic. It's a catastrophe for Superman when his bewitched when he's bewitched by Batman's feline foe in the Catwoman's black magic. Turning Superman into a cat was my most perfect crime, Lois. And now I'll change you into a mouse. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice cover nice cover let's crack this open yeah definitely i would grade this at, at around 5.5 5.5 or 6 to tell you the truth the inside is beautiful the cover doesn't have any chunks missing right it's uh staples are attached very nicely let's see the center beautiful artwork and the staples in the center fold are attached very nicely as well, right? Beautiful artwork. Wow. Let's read through this gang. So there's three main stories in this and a bunch of little guys, uh, just one pagers and stuff. It does have this writing on it, B and C3. I don't know what that means. And here is, have you ever seen Superman as a cat? you have now right <clears throat> what's this ad boys 8 through 13 entered the sixth annual ford dealers national football league punt pass and kick competition cool Ford motor cars, eh? Football kicker competition. Yeah, interesting. Haven't seen this before either. 
get in on the fun now register september 1st to october 7th fourth division cool copyright national periodical publication 1966 free gifts for registering your mom dad or legal guardian must be along when registering your ford deal will give you free a handsome pp and k pin i don't know what a ppk and pin is uh punt pass and kick competition that's what it is uh a booklet of pp and k competition tips cool Oh yeah, look at that. Norman Rockwell. What the hell? Norman Rockwell. Interesting. Warm up that kicking toe. Limber up that passing arm. It's PP and K competition time. If you enter last if you entered last year, you know what fun it is. If you missed out, join your friends and sign up at your Ford dealers from September 1st to October 7th. It's free and you'll have time. You'll have the time of your life. Wow. So you go to a Ford dealership and sign up. That's a great marketing ploy, right? Ask mom and dad to take you to the nearest Ford dealer showing a PP and K poster in his window. That's where you register for the sixth annual Ford NFL punt, pass, and kick a competition. Best of all, it doesn't cost a penny to enter. Win wonderful awards. Top three winners in each age bracket will get um, attractive Medal of Achievement awards featuring the classic Norman Rockwell P, P and K design. First place medal is blue, second place is red, third place is white win wonderful trips local champions uh, with top scores for their age groups in each ford zone will qualify for distinct competition distinct uh this district competition district uh, uh champions then compete at area events this includes a trip to an nfl game and nfl game with dad area champions go with dad to either Baltimore, Maryland, or Dallas, Texas, um, Texas, to compete in division events of NFL games. Division champions go with both parents on a tour of champions to Washington, DC, and Miami, Florida. It's easy to do. You will have a blast. Local comp competitions will be held in your neighborhood. You will compete in punting, passing, and place kicking distance and accuracy and against boys your own age huh cool that's interesting way to build community right and major major corporation is using sort of advertising to do it right let's read the fine print and get into the stories game Let's read the fine print for this. Let's read the top one. What does that say? Printed in the United States. This periodical will, will may not be sold except by authorized dealers and is sold subject to the conditions that it shall not be sold or distributed with any part of its cover or markings removed, nor in a mutilated condition, nor affixed to nor as part of any advertising literally literally or periodical matter whatsoever superman's girlfriend lois lane number 17 november 1966 published monthly with the exception of march june and december by national periodical publications incorporated second and dicky streets uh sprata illinois 62286 editorial executive offices and subscriptions 575 lexington avenue new york new york 10022 mort wise weisinger editor uh, da, da, da. Uh, second class postage paid at 
Sparta, Illinois, under the Act of March 3rd, 1879, subscription in the U.S. for 12 32-page issues, $1.75, including postage, foreign, three fifty in American funds. Oh, this got Canada, nice. Canada, $2 in American funds. For advertising rate rates, address Richard A. Felden and Company, 205 East 42nd Street, New York, New York, 10017. Copyright National Periodical Publications Incorporated, 1966. All rights reserved under international and Pan American Copyright Conventions. This, the stories, characters, and incidents mentioned in this magazine are entirely fic fictional. No actual person, living or dead, are intended or should be inferred. Cool. And by the way, this part where they have this publication can't be sold without its cover uh let's zoom in let's see if it focuses uh without its cover where's the cover without its cover is because um when the newsstands weren't able to sell all the copies that they had or if anything was damaged they would instead of mailing back the whole publication that's that's the way the publishers made sure that the uh, newsstands weren't scamming the publishers what they would do is tear the cover off and send the cover and it costs less to send multiple covers and then they would get credit for the number of covers they sent right so for the next bash they got they didn't have to pay the full amount right so there's a lot of comic books that you can buy well i don't know if a lot is the right word but there's some comic books you can buy that don't have the cover attached to them and that's because a lot of them that's what was happening the retailers newsstands were tearing off the covers sending them back to the publishers and uh getting credit for the books that they weren't able to uh to sell okay so let's start this off this is our first story what's this one called the catwoman's black magic right so Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane. Let's read the sort of preamble to the story. Holy cats, who's this female fiend who's sicking her big cat buddies on poor invulnerable Clark Kent? Is it the Catwoman, Julie New Newmar from the Batman TV show? Lee uh Mary Weather, what Mary Weather from the Batwoman movie or Batman movie? No, it's our own Lois. So why is a nice girl like her impersonating the queen of crime? I find to find out what's new, Pussycat, and why read this tale of feline felony and the princess of plunder as the princess of plunder works a uh, sinister spell on superman himself with the catwoman's black magic and there's clark kent dealing with a lion tiger and a panther i would assume panthers drawn pretty big growl Arr. Let's see what Catwoman was saying or Lois Lane. Rest, rip him to pieces, my pets. Clark Kent is a friend of Superman, and any friend of Superman is an enemy of mine. Catwoman says. Great kryptonite, Batman. A Superman is thinking. These enraged cats are ripping my clark kent clothes to shreds and with lois hypnotized into thinking she's catwoman there's no telling what she'll do when she finds out that i'm superman ah. and here's the artist's signature right schoffenberger schoffenberger cool nice splash page to start the story off I'd love to have 
the big cats, the way they're drawn, beautifully done, right? Very nice. Now that I have two kitty cats, I appreciate this a lot more. <laughs> These kitty cats. Wow, that's cool. Look at that. What's this? What's this? One day, one day, high over startled metropolis. That's a huge bird. Look, is it a plane? It's too big to be Superman. Good grief, it looks like a rock. The giant bird of Arabian legend. It can't be for real, the people are saying. Rock. I don't know if that's for real. Is there a big bird of Arabian legend? Look at that, it's dropping flyers. At the Daily Planet office, as Lois Lane and Clark can watch. Clark is dropping thousands of leaflets. It's an aircraft, how does it work? If only I had Superman's X-ray vision. Since I'm really Superman, Clark says, that's no problem for me. So he looks through it, look at that. It's an ingenious adaptation of the helicopter principle. The frame of the craft is covered with artificial feathers to make it look like a huge bird. Let's see what what those leaves leaflets say. Do we see the propellers of the bird? Oh, maybe the cloud is supposed to be the propellers of the bird. Or the helicopter. Moments later, Harvey Hawks was the flyer. Say, let's read the flyer first. Announcing the grand opening of the Metropolis Bird Sanctuary, August twenty-fifth, at Phoenix Castle, sponsored by Harvey Hawks. Oh, there's Jimmy Olsen in the background. Harvey Hawks, Lois Lane. Harvey Hawks, he's the millionaire bird uh, fancier who owns some of the rarest feathered creatures on earth. The collection must be worth a fortune, she says. Just then, great Caesar's ghost. Listen to that flash on the news ticker. The penguin has escaped from prison. The warden is about to give the details on a national TV hookup. Uh, someone's reading the teleprompter. What is that thing called? I forget what it's called. Ting, 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 ting. News coming through, flashing news. The penguin, Lois Lerner says, he's one of Batman's cleverest enemies. Haha, <laughs> look at the penguin's face. Let's take a look at the panels. Soon on a special newscast, Yes, the penguin, our most infamous jailbird, escaped by the use of a fiendishly clever trick which he pulled at a party for the prison guards' children. What's this? Hum, he's got a little hummingbird in his hand, or a version of it. Foolishly, we permitted our puggy prisoner to entertain the tots with an electronic hummingbird he invented. Watch the birdie kitties. The nectar in those flowers has him humming with delight. Penguin, shut that thing off before it breaks everyone's eardrums. Sorry, Warden, I can't hear a thing you're saying. Ah, people are running away, the kids. Shouldn't expose uh, 
the little one's still penguin. Hum. So the humming is just making people uh, go crazy. The humming grew louder and louder, but it didn't seem to affect the penguin. That sound is vibrating the prison bars like a tuning fork. How can the penguin stand it? Maybe he's gone stir crazy, the guards say. But it was all part of the foul felon's cunning plan. The sound of the hummingbird shattered the prison walls, just like the vibration of a violin string shatters a glass. As they say on Broadway, bye bye birdie, and thanks, I'll remove my earplugs as soon as I'm out of range. Crumble, rumble, crash. And he escapes. As the warden finishes his story, this is page one stuff. So long, Lois. I'm heading for the prison to interview the witnesses and get some pictures. Uh -huh. Clark's on the move. He's grabbing his camera as well. Presently in a nearby alley. This emergency calls for Superman to take a hand. I'll contact Batman at once, Superman says, or thinks. Meanwhile, Lois's willy brain goes into high gear. Hmm, she thinks. The penguin always uses bird themes for his crimes. He's bound to be attracted to the new bird sanctuary. And that gives me an idea. That afternoon, Lois visited Phoenix Castle. The Phoenix is a famous bird of Greek legend. I guess that's why Harvey Hawks housed his rare bird collection here. The exhibit won't open till next week, but perhaps they'll let me in she thinks oh look at her sneaking through the watchman is asleep hmm. while he was napping the penguin could have slipped past him i'll go inside and check oh look at all these poor birds in cages soon within fantastic this exhibition hall contains the rarest and most valuable feathered creatures in the world. That millionaire hawk must have spent a mint gathering them. Look at all these poor birds. Collecting comic books is better. The bower bird of the South Pacific. It collects glittering objects and stones the way some people collect jewels. Look at that. Would make a great thief. Penguins in a refrigerated case to duplicate their normal environment. I'd enjoy watching them, but they remind me of their namesake, the penguin. That fine feather felon may be here right now, she thinks. Suddenly, gasp, the shadows of an umbrella, and the penguin's trademark is his trick umbrella. I was right, he must be over there. then i'm being dive bomb bombed now i'm sure the penguin is nearby who else would train a bird to do a stunt like this gas i'm blacking out Puff. 
So that egg must have contained the gas right, right there that's being dropped. As Lois comes to long afterward, what happened? What am I doing in this glass cage? And where are all the birds? They're gone, vanished into thin air. Am I going out of my mind? Jaguars, panthers, oak, oak lots. The birds have been replaced with every species of savage cat in the world. What's going on here? Rawr, snarl. At that moment, well, I'll be someone le left some food for me, just as if I were a prisoner in a cell. I am hungry, so I might as well eat. So there's the food. That's a little opening outside the cage, right? The glass cage and the food's left outside. But in the next frightening instance, oh wow, look at the cat paw. Yay! A tiger. Let's see how well it's drawn. Nicely drawn. Another second, and it would have been his blue plated special. Thank heavens, this cage is made of unbreakable glass but where did all this these uh, ferocious feline come from here's a metal hat for toys oh you can make toys it's like a what do you call that? Toy making uh, kit. Cool. Creepy crawlers or fighting men or crippled people. Crippled people. That's not PC. Metal continued on second page following. Let's check this out. A good question, Lois, and the answer is the cat woman. She's one of Batman's arch foes. She always uses cats as the inspiration for her crimes. Hello, Miss Lane. Raja and I were uh, playing a little cat and mouse game with you but i was expecting the penguin he sent one of his birds to attack me that was a cat bird my dear the only bird i could tolerate its egg bomb caused your little cat now Ah, that's a cat bird. Is there such a thing? Meow. So the bird goes meow. Stop pussyfooting. I saw the shadow on a, of an umbrella on the wall. And no, that's a sure sign of the penguin. You must have seen the shadow of my cat claws. Uh -huh. just then okay we put the last of the birds 
to sleep with the dream fog we're loading them into the trucks now right now what next cat woman take that bird outside with the others while I set up the cat trap I've been uh, planning so all the birds are asleep they gassed them after Lois has been released from her cage my plans include you Lois Lo Miss Lois put on this costume do as I say or I'll have Raja here convince you look at the tiger give me the outfit he's already con uh, convicted me Lois is scared presently it's another cat woman costume I'm a carbon copy of you what's the pitch perplexed my dear step through this door and you'll find the answer she says then in the darkened room here look into my cat's eye ring and you'll learn what this is all about that jewel it's hypnotic it's hypnotic force taking control of my brain Lois says or thanks as Lois is gripped by a weird transformation yes I've used the catap 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 <laughs> catalyp catalyptic hypno hypnosis forget your past as Lois Lane from now on you're the cat woman meow I understand Lois Lane says as the countess of crime you'll use this cat cat kit which contains your feline weapon including the catarang catarang which is even more dangerous than Batman's batarang thanks Lois says remember you're the world's greatest fem uh, female feline you use all the predatory skills of a cat understand perfectly she says but what's all these uh, those eyes uh, staring at me you you really want to know then meet some feline friends I invited to your opening performance as Catwoman, snarl! I'm not afraid of them. Yarrr. Brainwash, Lois faces Lois faces the most ferocious beasts of the jungle. Will the false Catwoman be catnipped? Turn to part two and find out. So let's go to part two. Here's a one page ad. Right. Advertisement for uh, Plastic Man. Ad for Plastic Man uh, number one, it should be. Yeah, ad for Plastic Man number one. Right? From 1966. The triumphant return of the one and only original, the Plastic Man. Brand new exploits of the famous human rubber band the slyliest slipperiest slinkiest superhero of them all you'll never know commissioner whom i ran into who do you run into who are those people cool let's continue with our story this is a car advertisement amt more models take a look more models car models give them and get them as gifts buys amt tool authentic trophy series 124 125th scale models 
Let's take a look at this. Let's continue with part two. The cat woman gets the bird, part two. There's a penguin and there is cat woman. Now this is Lois Lane, must be. Don't be afraid of them, cat woman. Those beasts are your subjects. The catnip perf perf perfume from your kit will make them obey your every command. I'll test my control over them, she says. In her Catwoman identity, Lois gives orders to the King of Beasts. Wow, look at that. That's it, keep your jaw wide apart. Don't you dare let your fangs touch me. Catwoman says, or Lois Lane, dressed up as Catwoman says, hypnotizes Catwoman. Roar. And soon, haha, <laughs> ah, they're acting as gentle as kittens, but you can turn them into savage beasts whenever you need them in your cat crimes. One warning before I go, your rival in crime, the penguin, will probably be here soon. Use all your cat cunning to destroy him. The penguin, he's one cat who's going to catch a bird. Here's one cat that's going to catch a bird. As the real cat woman hurries away with her gang but you did uh, but why did you brainwash her into trying to kill the penguin once she knocks off that bird we can raid his hideout the penguins roost and collect his loot cat woman says look at all the birds they've grabbed they're jacking all the birds then after selling these valuable birds we just stole i'll be able to retire and when they catch lois lane committing crimes as me no one will ever suspect the real crime queen has turned respectable catmon you're a genius he says Indeed. rain rain again rain rain again meanwhile yet another evildoer is eluding the law superman i've reached uh, everywhere for that escaped jailbird the penguin but there's no sign of him batman says even my telescopic vision hasn't been able to locate him anywhere in Metropolis or Gotham City, Superman says. On the street below, a crowd gathers for a spectacular event. Holy Hitchcock, look, the birds are coming. Stand back, let me see too. Is that like a bird parade? Let's check it out. Nice artwork. Mayor, Mayor our city? Keep Metropolis clean. Make our city beautiful. Down the street comes a dazzling parade of feminine VIPs. It's a parade and there's a ladybird, Linda Bird and Lucy Baines. They're sponsoring the beautiful Metropolis campaign. Wow, the first lady and her chicks are guarded by that king size American Eagle, as well as the police and the secret service. Ah, oh, there's a king-size American Eagle up top. 
So who are these people? The first lady. Ah, the first lady. President's daughter. Uh, wife, right? <laughs> oh, there's a penguin. But the eagle's wings guards still another bird. Oh, is he hiding in there? Let's see. Do we see him? No, no, we can't see him there. Let's check it out. Who'd ever think that I, the penguin, would ever have an escort of police and secret servicemen? Superman and Batman never dreamt, dreamt I'd be hiding under the feathers of this American Eagle coat. As the parade ends, the penguin slips away and hurries to Phoenix Castle. Ah, the castle that contains the world's most valuable collection of feathered feet creatures. How can I invade, invade this Fort Knox of birddom? Why, with this umbrella I picked up at my roost, he says. Ah, there's this flying umbrella thing whirl click the touch of a hidden button turns my umbrella into a helicopter penguin you genius you're a human whirly bird <laughs> and now to collect the rare fowls who will aid me in my future crimes Thanks. A brainwashed Lois Lane is waiting within. Ah, the penguin, my rival. He doesn't dream I'm about to pluck his pin feathers. Catwoman, you beat me to it and cleaned out those valuable birds. It's a disaster, but I plan my play my card right. Penguin thinks. Catwoman, I've always admired your sleek beauty and your cat cunning. We must end our rivalry. Rivalry, you little kitten. Haha. <laughs> I didn't know you cared, Lois Lane says. Lois Lane dressed up as Catwoman. Let's get married. Let's get married. We'll combine our feline felonies and my bird bantry will become the king and queen of queen of crime it's a deal love bird and here's a little engagement present i have for you <laughs> oh look at that she throws her catarang my catarang that clawed gadget could make a penguin burger out of me yay i'm falling into the fountain but by a fluke of fate ah, it's raining hard now nice penguin old boy you have a charm life once again you your bird destiny saved you from death by means of bird bath <laughs> that moment oh oh superman and batman they must have figured figured i come here i'll hide behind the water in the fountain but superman's eagle eye spots the bird bandit there's the penguin now batman i figured he'd turn up at the rare bird exhibit grab him before he gets away superman there's Robin too in the background. 
the Batmobile. With a puff of super breath, the man of steel turns the cascading water to ice. <laughs> Look at Robin laugh. Haha, <laughs> ha, those frozen bars should make an easy should make a any penguin feel at home. Batman, have you ever seen Batman laughing so hard? Look at Robin. Grr. I'll get even with you for with you for the Superman. Penguin says. Soon. Batman, I still have something to do here at the castle. You take this foul tempered bird back to prison. Right, Superman. They have this this cage ready for him. Look at that Batmobile. There's Robin in the back waving by to Superman. I need to account. Uh, I'll need to account to Perry White for my time. So I'll switch to Clark Kent and take some notes. I'll say that Superman brought me here to witness the penguins capture. Ah, here's my catarang. The penguin must be somewhere around here. Search for him, my feline friends. She looks like the cavalry, but that voice, something doesn't add up. Clark, Superman's on the steps looking in. Look at the cats. A flash of X-ray vision reveals great galaxies. It's Lois Lane, Superman says. Why, you're Clark Kent, a friend of Superman. Hypnotized, Lois says. Lois, what are you doing in that Catwoman costume? Lois, my name is Selina Kyle. I'm the Catwoman sworn foe of batman and superman too i'll prove it any friend of superman is an enemy of mine head for that c cistern i have special plans for you the real catwoman must have hypnotized lois well i'll put on the the afraid cat a Frady Cat Clark Kent act. So you're too scared to put up a fight, you weakling. Climb down into the pit, she says. What are you going to do with me? He asks from that evil glint in her eye she might try anything superman thinks Grrr. you're just a timid mouse on my cats love mice kill him my pets then in a savage attack of fangs and claws Rawr, grawr, rip, slash. Oh man, that would have been nasty if it wasn't Superman. These pussycats are finding out an invulnerable mouse is too tough to chew. But they're rip, ripping my Clark Kent clothes to sh ribbons. Clark Kent, you're really Superman. Uh oh the fat's in the fire she uncovered my secret identity but since lois lois is in a hypnotic state 
she'll probably forget all this when she snaps out of it i'll hide the remnants of my civvies in the pouch of my cape you fiend my cats are ruining their teeth on your invulnerable body oh the poor kitties At that moment, the real cat woman's kitty car comes. Kitty car comes cat catapulting over the wall. Like all cats, I'm curious. I must see if Lois Lane is using my cat tricks properly. If she fails, it would be a cat catastrophic catastrophe for my reputation. That's a beautiful Catwoman car, look at that. Holy Hecate. As a as a catwoman, Lois even beats me. I ask her to trap the penguin and she tops me by nabbing Superman. Oh, the poor cat Superman's punching them hard but at that moment stop Catwoman says stop or Lois Lane says stop punching my sweet little pussy cats bang bang look at the stars on the Panthers head these are mere love taps Lois I just want to put your feud off felines to sleep temporarily oh look at the poor lion's face oh picks them up by their tail look at that poor kitty cats they're all passed out you demon where are you taking my pets to the metropolis zoo where they can't harm anyone wait here i'll return return and try to bring you out of the cat almost hypnotic influence lois but the man of but the man of might is not aware that the g genuine Catwoman has been eavesdropping. So Superman knows that Lois Lane has been hypnotized into thinking she's me, huh? Hmm. This could fit in with my plans perfectly. Soon, as Lois prowl prowls the premises in her Catwoman costume, Mao, meow scratch I thought Superman had captured all my cats but it looks like I still have one left I'll check ah, trip sir as Lois Lane steps through the door I knew you couldn't resist my cat call take off the cat kit and won't you won't need it anymore rip Oh, she's ripping it off. Instants later, Catwoman, how did I get back in this cage? I can't remember. I'll fill you in later. Meanwhile, you'll stay in your um, unbreakable, unbreakable glass prison. Now that I broke the hypnotic spell, she can't she doesn't remember impersonating me, Catwoman thinks.
you can't get away with this superman will find me and when he does that's where you're wrong my little kitten he won't even bother looking for you cat moment says yes here comes superman to help poor deluded lois he'll never guess the girl who's waiting for him is the real Catwoman impersonating his friend ha 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 what sinister scheme has the purring princess of plunder plucked from her catalog of tricks the cataclysmic ending will be found in part three that's fantastic writing I like that And here's part three, continuation of the story. Wow, the rain is fantastic, gang. Really, absolutely fantastic. Surrounded by windows, pouring rain outside and reading a comic book. Very nice. Superman, cat, cat, catastrophe, catastrophe. As Superman returns to the castle, I came back for you, Lois. Don't you recognize me? I'm your friend, Superman. Catwoman must have hypnotized you into assuming her identity. Ha ha, Mr. Muscles doesn't dream he's talking to the Catwoman in person, Catwoman thinks. You could be right, Superman. Give me a super kiss. It might help restore my memory. Since he thinks I'm Lois, I may as well get a d dividend out of this situation. It's worth a try, Superman thinks. A super kiss might shock her back to normal. Ah, a boy, Superman. Take advantage of the situation. Look at this, look at this. Haha. <laughs> Oh my, oh my. Hmm, delish, Catwoman thinks. This is the cat's meow. But I must keep my head. I have other plans for Lois's favorite carrier pigeon. As the cunning Catwoman continues her act, Lois didn't. Lois. Didn't that kiss ring a bell? Didn't it stir up old memories? Superman asked. Hmm, maybe I am Lois after all, but I must be sure. Fly me to my secret lair, the catacombs. Catwoman asks. A good idea. If you can guide me there, I'll prove you're the real cat. You'll prove you're the real Catwoman. If not, You'll have to admit, you're actually Lois suffering from a delusion. Superman, how clever of you. Haha, <laughs> I'm playing him for a cat's paw, she thinks. Meanwhile, the real Lois Lane has escape ideas. This cage is made of unbreakable glass but in my guess, if my guess is right, the screen overhead is some kind of thin plastic. Hmm, think hard, Lois baby. That's a big glass cage. Catwoman's cunning must be catching. I've got an escape plan. That's the cat's pajamas. First, I'll need some of these plume, plumes dropped by the birds. Birds who used to live in this cage. What are those? Plumes. Wrapping the plumes around her hand. Lois mounts a nearby bird swing and I hope I can swing this 
four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, look at her go. Like a human missile, Lois rockets upwards and crash breaks through the screen. Blast off. All systems are go. I'm right on target. And these feather gloves protect my hands from wire cuts. It's like punching bags. Blast off. And by a lucky twist of fate, this balcony makes a perfect landing. Field. Wow, would Superman believe I did this? Would, per would Perry, would Jimmy, she thinks. Then, slipping out to the courtyard, I thought I'd find Catwoman prowling around, but she's nowhere in sight. Wait, there's her kitty car. Just then, Cat Gang paging Catwoman on the Cat Call Network. Where are you? We're waiting for your orders in the catacombs. Oh ho, they can't seem to locate the real Catwoman. That gives me an idea. In this costume, I'm a dead ringer for that feline felon. If I could get to her hideout, I might be able to infiltrate the gang and capture them. But how do I find the secret hideout? Wait. There's the answer. Autopilots, catacombs, Lois. Oh, what? Lois, Chicago, Metropolis, Gotham City. I'm assuming Lois, uh, New York, and then Los Angeles. Autopilot. This autopilot may control the kitty car, I hope. There's only one way to find out. I'll dial the destination I'm looking for. Oh, that's St. Louis, not Lois. St. Louis. So she's dialing catacombs world. It's like a rotary phone. Seconds later, Lois's vehicle is uh, catapulted out of the castle. Wow, what a takeoff. If those automatic controls work, I'll be at the catacombs in seconds. Vroom. Meanwhile, the real cat moment approaches the same destination. To keep this brain, brain and brawn boy believing that I'm Lois Lane, I'll continue to act confused. Superman, I, I think my lair is near that cliff below. If you were really the Catwoman, you'd be sure, Lois. Superman says. But the next moment. Great kryptonite. That formation looks exactly like the fangs of a giant cat. Err, this spot looks familiar. Head towards those needle shaped rocks. Catwoman says. Catwoman's uh, lair. As the rocky, as the rocky fangs gasp, some automatic mechanism opened the cliff, like the mouth of a giant cat. It's the catacombs, the Catwoman's lair. Lois, how did you know about this place? I must have been here before. I'm not sure. I'll lull his suspicions by acting confused catwoman thinks what do those things say let's see 
catarangs, cat catastrophical bombs, catas cata catalysm rockets, cata catalog of catalog of crime. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. see what else is going on here meanwhile the princess of plunders gang watches from a nearby tunnel has catwoman gone nuts why do you bring superman here relax she must have some scheme off her sleeve we'll lie low and see what happens out in the main cavern all these wonderful cat weapons but i don't know how to use them why superman cat whisker gun because you're really lois lane not the cat woman you're not villainous at all superman says i wonder what this stick is for she says superman doesn't dream that this is the wand the sorceress Cer Circes once used to turn ulysses U ulysses men into swine i found it recently in italy there should uh, there should be enough magic left in it for one more transformation and just a side note gang superman is invulnerable to everything except magic so magic is the only thing that can affect Superman okay takes away his vulnerability super Superman is vulnerable to magic so this should work wand of Circe's change this dunce into a super cat at once <laughs> Lois what are you doing Superman says my body feels so strange oh no continue on fifth page following let's follow this let's check this out okay this is another ad but we're going to continue with the story this is super fun on the go with motorific with motorific little cars you can collect right but let's go on with the story oh here's another one. Oh wow there's a couple of stuff here Caps hobby. One of these pages is uh, Carmen Infan Infantino did the artwork for. I don't know which one. Okay, and Irv Novak and Bob Ox Ox Oxner. Well, we're gonna continue with the story. This is super fun. Here's another one as well. Let's check this out. Let's see Superman's transformation into a little kitty cat. What a great story! What a great story. Then. A grotesque metamorphosis. Oh no, look at this. Beautiful. What's happening? Some uncanny powers forcing me to drop to all fours. I'm being turned into a meow. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Fantastic. Catwoman. Yes, I really am the Catwoman. This magic wand changed you into a super cat, which must obey my every command. She's got a super cat at her disposal. Nice. Look at that, look at that. According to Cersei's spell, you must follow all orders I give you in, in, in rhyme. Forget your anger, do no harm. Rest there gently on my arm. Look at that, look at that. Little kitty cat Superman. Wow, we saw that stunt on the monitor. We're 
proud of you, Catwoman. <laughs> I always dreamt of owning a super cat. Now, with this powerful feline at my back, at my beck and call, I'll once again be the queen of crime. Come, my cat cronies, we have plans to make. Here comes the real Lois Lane. But soon afterwards, Lois Lane arrives at the cave in her Catwoman disguise. Good heavens, the kitty car must have triggered some electronic mechanism that opened the door to the cave. Brr! It's like being swallowed alive. The catacombs. This is the Catwoman's feline fortress. So this is Lois Lane. That she devil could have a cat fit if she knew I was here. She knows Lois. She knows Lois. The feline fury is already preparing a reception for you. It's Lois Lane. I don't know how she got in here, but I'll show what curiosity can do to the cat. Ha <laughs> ha. I'll release the cage full of weird giant cats which I bred experimentally. Each one is as savage as a dozen tigers. Let's see your girlfriend get out of this one, Superman. I mean, super cats. Oh, look at all these different cats. So, oh my God, look at that. Yar. Catwoman is crazy. Look at what she bred. Look at this. What a psycho. An instant later, Lois becomes the star of a frightful drama with wide screen effects. Those horrible beasts, where'd they come from? They're devouring me alive. I. But in the next hair racing second, and Super Cat is after me too. It's feeding, feeding time in this nightmare meringue, and I'm the main course. Wow, look at that. Meow. Oh, look at that. Super Cat is defending Lois Lane. What a switch. He's charging those fiendish felines but does he have a chance against their giant fangs and claws i don't think she knows a superman she doesn't <laughs> look at this look at this pow bam what a comic superman transformed into a super cat takes on mutated cats that are bred genetically engineered by Catwoman. What a trip. Does he? The super cat strikes with furry fury. What unbelievable strength. A mere tap of his paw is enough to knock out one of those weird old beasts. Where did that super cat come from? Look at this one. Just doing a flippity flop. Super cool. Nice. As the battle ends, thanks pal. For an for a minute I thought you might you might be super super girl super pet uh streaky, but he has golden fur 
and lightning light lighting streak marks on his side purr look at that superman even in cat form he's getting little kisses <laughs> a little prude <laughs> getting kisses from all of them suddenly wait i get it by licking the s symbol you're trying to tell me that you're superman and that somehow you've been turned into a cat meow twice if i'm right clever my cat cunning must have ru rubbed off on you lois meow meow superman in cat form says oh look at that <laughs> the cat woman only she could have cast the spell on you nab her superman i mean super cat yar ha ha you must obey me it is written be mild and gentle as a kitten ah that's another rhyme right good grief that simple rhyme brainwashed super cat into a cuddly house pet all right boys i've got him under control again bring out the cage look at that Ah, oh, this is the front panel, uh, the cover, right? Let's continue reading. Oh, look at that. I think it's kryptonite cage. How does Bad Woman have a kryptonite cage? Yar! I originally meant this cage for Supergirl's cat, Streaky. Then I learned he's not from crypt a Krypton, so the green K can't affect him. But it's a different story with my new pet he'll be helpless here until i need him that deadly stuff is killing the poor creature stop torturing him catwoman or i'll meow rawr. fight me come on my claws can use a workout on that pretty face of yours catwoman says Cat one is nasty. You'll need a cat's nine. You'll need cat's nine lives before I'm through with you. Turning Superman into a cat was my most perfect crime, Lois. And now I'll change you into a mouse. Ha <laughs> And that is exactly the cover. Wow, the cover is a little bit more intricate, I guess. We'll take a look after. Oh, what's this coming up? The cat fight of the century. Will the dynamic crime fighter perish in the deadly cage? Can our dar daring, chick, daring chick win out over the devious cunning of the dia diabolic, diabolic cat woman and her despicable cronies? Will we, will we ever turn out of DC? Will we ever run out of DC gags? See the next issue of Lois Lane. Oh no, we don't get to see the ending. What? No, this is not fair. Where is the ending? I have the second issue of this, but it's buried somewhere in my books. I have Lois Lane, Superman's... Uh, girlfriend lois lane number 71 but i don't know where it is <laughs> oh no we don't get to see the ending what wait no finishing most of these books from the 60s finished story right oh no what does this say second super smash issue in the ultimate utmost in comic magazines Oh, this is 80 page giant uh, Justice League of America ad. Another Hall of Fame section of super that it's super spectacular classic now on sale everywhere. Oh man, what? We don't get to finish the story. See, here's the cover, right? This is the panel, right? And here's the cover. 
and they did it a little bit more intricate maybe it could be almost the same oh no it's not because lois lane is dressed up but take a look at this this is lois lane on the right side and that's catwoman on the left side right in the panel this is lois lane here and this is catwoman here so it's a little different oh we need to find out okay gang if i do i'll keep my eyes out and these are more advertisements and stuff i'll keep my eyes out for uh superman's uh, girlfriend lois lane number 71 <laughs> when i go through my boxes and if i find it um we'll bring it out and read it for sure we need to we need to see the ending of the story what a cliffhanger that's one of the best cliffhangers ever that's one of the greatest comic book cliffhangers ever seriously this book surprised me it was a fantastic read what a fantastic read superman's girlfriend lois lane number 70 from november great book and as far as grade goes i would say this is you know five five point five maybe six maybe at best but a great comic book great comic book i hope you guys enjoyed gang i hope you guys enjoyed what i'm going to do because we are live streaming this is get back to the live stream and uh see what the take was i was keeping an eye on the chat uh, and uh i think people loved it i think people loved it uh, so I'm just going to turn on uh, the chat and the notifications and my camera. I'll see you guys in the next reading if uh, you're going to be following us. And... What a great read. <laughs> Which cat woman gets the super pussy out of the box? <laughs> awesome superman got a couple of kisses in wow 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 sneaky little bugger two different women as well oh both of them dressed up in little uh uh you know in cat costumes very kinky very kinky very cool fun 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 <laughs> knights of old comic chicho fiona says thanks for reading a comic and it's as it's her seventh birthday happy birthday fiona happy birthday fiona by the way fiona i remember during the mineral stream uh you asked if i had any um uh what do you call it uh, the the type of rock that's it on the inside you show the crystals what's it called uh, globaloid oh what's it called i forget the name now uh my partner actually has a really big one i totally forgot about it um i'll post a picture in our discord and your dad can share it with you and there's a picture that she took with um, one of our kitties in front of it um via in front of it and it's a really big one uh, it's super heavy crazy heavy uh oh, geode geode yeah 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 she has a really big geode i tried to move it once without prepping myself and i hurt my back it's like really it's like a solid piece of rock okay but this was a fantastic read and happy birthday fiona happy seventh birthday great reading for her seventh birthday <laughs> this was this comic book was from 1966 so how many years ago was it this this comic book is how many years old 76 86 96 2006 uh 2016 and then add five more so this comic book is 55 years old right 55 divided by seven fiona what's that 55 divided by seven that's how many times more older this comic book is than you crazy huh super cool what a comic what a comic what a comic <laughs> super fun super fun and did we do it in time did we finish this thing in time yeah we did good we did good seriously this is one of the comics i really got into it just it was crazy fun to read i, I don't i tell you the truth i don't know if i've read i must have read 
Superman's girlfriend Lois Lane comics before, but I don't remember it being this fun. I'm gonna start collecting more of this. I need to get my hands on more Superman's girlfriend Lois Lane. Underrated, underrated. Nice little comic. My pleasure, man. Very fun, very fun. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org. And there's a lot of videos we put out in our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist that you can check out. Okay. Gang, let's call this stream. Odds are I'm gonna to go to a post office today. I got a my it's a comic book haul that's waiting there for me. I'm gonna pick it up, and the odds are tomorrow afternoon at around two o'clock, we're gonna do a comic book haul. Okay. Hopefully, I'll announce it uh, as soon as I know it's set that we can do it. Cheryl, thanks for a fun reach. My pleasure, Cheryl. Super fun. And gang, thank you for being here, taking care of business. Thank you for participating. Void Hook, how are we doing? Loved it. Been quite a quiet whole stream. Awesome, Void. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. And by the way, gang, as my outro, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C H Y C H O. If you want to support this work, if you want to know what this work is about, Patreon is a great way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike, and everything is layered on mathematics. You can follow the work and see what it's all about. And if you do enjoy this content, supporting this work on Patreon is a great way to make sure we continue to do what it is that we are doing. And for those of you that were supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support. The real MC Mike, nice and relaxing, nice and relaxing. Chicho's comics built on math, caught 100%. 100 percent there there's a lot of mathematics that goes into comic books one part in mathematics we've already started looking into is investing in comic books right the other part of mathematics is uh financing comic books publishing comic books making a living off comic books companies trying to generate revenue and we're going to get into all that at some point because i've done all all that right uh, from the collecting side, I was successful. From the publishing side, I wasn't. But I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Uh, we are live streaming on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. If you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. Gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the discussions. Thank you for the recommendations and the suggestions. And mod. Thank you for being here and having our back and taking care of business when it needs to be taken care of. We do announce these live streams scheduled once 30 minutes before we go live on Minds, VK, LO, Gab, Parlor when it comes back online and Twitter. And we do have a Discord page that you can join. And there's a lot of people sharing a lot of information. So you're definitely welcome uh, to join us there. Long live you join me. <laughs> long live chichonia may we may 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 we be producing this type of content for many many moons to come right for live streams where we don't have any visuals we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and if you want to know what our discord link is is right there and it is available in the description of this video on our on our, our home pages all over the place you should be able to find it fairly easily and we will be uploading this video to sensor tube to bit and to rumble and if we have enough broadcast coins we'll upload it to odyssey as well and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by sharing liking subscribing commenting and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership and there's a button down here somewhere and for those of you who've been supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support it is because of the support that we're getting on all these platforms that we're able to do this gang i hope you enjoyed this set of streams fantastic we ended with a great reading loved it i'm all like i'm all hyped like you just happiness right uh brought a lot of joy big smiles on my face and i hope it brought big smiles on your face gang 
and uh, I'll announce the next set of streams give me a few days to get caught up with everything that we're doing and uh, figure out what we're gonna do we will most likely have a comic book haul tomorrow most likely if not tomorrow then Thursday I'll announce it as soon as I know for sure okay most likely it'll be 30 minutes before we go live so keep your eyes on the notifications okay gang I'll see you guys in the next stream bye everyone